Hey there, it's Leanne, and I have a rambling from the road for you. So I am in Austin, Texas. This is my um, fifth stop, I believe. Um, I've been to Breckenridge, Colorado, a beautiful mountain there. I really loved it. Nice ski area. I've been to Boulder, Colorado, which was just adorable. Um, cute city. I saw Mork and Mindy's house. Um, I've been to Denver, Colorado, which was a lot of fun. Um, met some friends old and new and had some really tasty food. And I've been to Dallas, Texas for a quick trip where I ran into some old friends and also some newer friends, which was very cool. So now I'm in Austin. I'm in Austin for two weeks and I'm like really excited to be in one place for two weeks because I'm I'm on my fifth city and my sixth bed. And it's a little like, hmm, (laughs) <laughs> let's slow it down a little bit. So I've got some notes down below uh, with some photos and different things from the various cities. But what I wanted to talk to you about is the idea of freedom because freedom keeps coming up for me. It's a word that I keep meeting people and they're talking about it and I keep hearing it. It's coming up for me personally. And it's, you know, one of the reasons that I actually took the trip was I wanted to experience this freedom. I wanted to be free of my Um, home, free of a lot of possessions, and experience what it would be like on the road to just have that. So what's been really interesting is that um, I always thought of it as my kind of location and my uh, possessions or my financial obligations or things were what was like holding me back, so to speak, what was keeping me from feeling less free. And then last week, I ended up going, I took the afternoon off on a weekday and went to the museum with a friend of mine in Denver. Uh, It was my bestie from high school, Tomoko. Hi, Tomoko. And we uh, went to the museum. I hadn't seen her in over 20 years. So that's one of the things that's so cool about this trip is just getting to reconnect with people that I haven't connected with in forever. But what was more interesting to me was, you know, um, of course I made sure all my clients were taken care of, but I... um, you know, in Chicago, I would never have taken the afternoon off to go to the museum. Never. Because I would have thought, like, there's the little kind of Girl Scout in me that's like, oh, it's it's a weekday. You know, you have to work. You need to work. You're building your business. You need to make sure you're working. Are you working enough? And I kind of have that noise going on in my head. And I know for you other entrepreneurs, like, that noise is, is going a lot. Because it's always, I'm, what are we doing? And what I realize is, that is the piece of it. It's actually me. I'm the one who's holding the keys to my freedom. I'm the one who's, ma- who's putting that on myself. And it's ironic because I was thinking it was more kind of other thing. And then I realized it's actually me. Why couldn't I take an afternoon off in Chicago as long as my clients are cared for? And, you know, why is it somehow um, only me being on the road and be- the excuse of being in a different city or the excuse of seeing a friend is what I needed? So... I'm going to think more about that as we go, and I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, it's, it's already a revelation for me, um, one month into, less than one month into the trip, that um, I hold the keys to my freedom no matter where I am and no matter what I'm doing. So take that, um, think about that. Think about areas in which you might be holding yourself back or keeping yourself from not experiencing something that you want to experience um, based on uh, thinking it's something else when it's actually inside of you. I hope that makes sense. I'm rambling, but that's the point. All right, Uh, check everything out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, and um, hopefully I will see you on one of my next stops. All right, bye.